Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I have done a sit down video with you all. Um, today's video I'm going to be doing another army Q&A. Um, just a lot of repetitive, qu repetitive questions I've been getting um, over the last few months. Um, I'm going to be focusing a lot on um, 88 Mike MOS. Um, in this video I haven't really done that a whole lot on my channel um, but I thought I'd just go ahead and pop in a um, q and I like to do those from time to time and it has been a while since I've done one. So uh, let's get on to answering your questions all right so i've screenshotted a lot i need to drink water i am so thirsty like all right so the first question um this one's from instagram and i don't do like the whole name thing i'm just gonna say like like the question so the question is my MOS is 88 Mike, and I was wondering if you had any insight about this job um, that you could give a future soldier. Any pros and cons would be greatly, uh, any pros and cons or advice would be greatly appreciated. Um, I watch your videos on YouTube, and I just thought I'll write to you. Um, and just for a future reference, if you guys ever have any questions, hit me up on Instagram. That's probably the quickest way that I will I'm able to um, respond to your questions. Um, I don't see. Um, I know I get like a lot of new viewers and stuff um, on my videos and they are more so watching old videos. Um, I don't really see a whole lot of those um, questions and a lot of those questions if you guys continue to watch my videos they will be answered. Um, so just be aware of that if you actually have like a urgent question or whatever um, message me on Instagram or leave a comment on one of my photos or whatever and I will get back to you quicker. Um, anyway, so back to the question. That is a big question I get a lot er, is what are the pros and cons of being 88 Mike? Um, I'm going to start with a con so that we can end with a positive note. But um, a, some of the cons of being 88 Mike is definitely it's one of the most dangerous jobs in the Army. Um, because you're driving, uh, you could be on a convoy uh, while deployed overseas. And it's really, really, really dangerous anywhere. Um, and any person, not even just 88 Mike's, but just... Um, anyone who could be driving outside of the wire, what we call, um, off the fob, like, it's really dangerous. And obviously, if our job is to drive, that's all we're doing constantly. Um, so it's really dangerous on, on that standpoint. And really when you're in country, or not in country, because in country we call it over there, but even when you're in the States, it's really dangerous as well, because my unit is a long haul, or a line hauling unit, and we travel a lot, like, long distances and um cars are swerving in and out like they think they have a ma they they match with this freaking big semi and my unit we drive semis and it's really dangerous like i've had really really scary instances um in my army career like scary like heart drop out of your ass scary so um it's really it can be very dangerous if you're not paying attention and doing what you're supposed to um so that's a con Another con, like being in the line hall unit, um, getting up super, 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 super early, um, running off of no sleep sometimes, like little to no sleep. Um, I know when we got deployed last year, um, we were running missions like left and right, like it was so draining. I was so tired, like, but it's really fun, like, um, but yeah, that's another one. There are some other cons, yeah. I don't know there's pros and cons to like every job anyways but um yeah so moving on to the pros is that we get to travel a lot I have been so many places um like and I get paid to go um I have met so many people it's really fun like driving in a in a truck especially when you get someone um in your like a TC or your driver or whatever um who's really fun you like listen to music and it's like it's really fun don't tell my first sergeant that listen to music but um yeah it's really fun you get to go a lot of places it's it's genuinely like I I, I was like I don't know it's just really fun like it's really fun PMCSing is not fun, but that's another con. I hate PMCSing. It's so annoying, but you have to do it. Um, but yeah, you get to go so many places, um, just travel. Um, not all units are like that. My unit, is, like I said, is a line haul, so we travel near and far. Um, my unit is always the first to get called to deploy, like, uh, like to hurricanes and stuff. So I've been on two deployments for hurricanes um, before. Um, so yeah, it's really fun. It's it, it's it's cool but yeah that, my biggest advice to 88 mics 
So pay attention. Do what, don't fall asleep. I mean, it, I ain't gonna lie. I've fallen asleep plenty of times being a TC. Um, but I would never fall asleep if I, if I didn't trust my driver. Um, but make sure that you're up and you're making sure that your driver is good. Um, don't be that ass who makes your driver drive the whole time, you know. Um, but yeah, when you're driving, pay attention. Don't, don't slack off. Like, that's your life right there. You want to come home to your family. You don't want someone having to come knock on your door saying, you know, that you died in a freaking car accident or a truck accident or in a rollover because you're being careless and reckless. Like, it's, it's very serious. So, yeah. Anyways, next question is... Where are you stationed and how is everything going? Are you still in school? Is there any tips you would give, you have to give to those going to college this summer or this fall? Thanks. So I am stationed somewhere in Georgia. I don't actually specifically say where I'm stationed at because um, I don't know, I just like don't really like for people to know my location like that. But I always say I'm stationed somewhere in Georgia. Um, and um, everything's going great. Um, I actually to answer your like third question I actually just graduated from college finally I got my bachelor's of science in public health education um, and yeah like I finally graduated it's been a long time coming and you guys have like literally supported me from day one when I stated years ago that I'm joining the military um, and I'm like I'm doing this so like I can pay for the rest of my college and you know do this and that and like it's finally come, like I'm finally done, and now I'm trying to figure out what to do, uh, what the next step is going to be as far as school-wise, but, um, yeah, um, everything's going well. I'm actually thinking about going to law school. I'm, like, really, really thinking about it, but I'm going to keep on letting it marinate in my head and figure it out, but everything's going great. Um, let's see. How easy is it to rank up as 88 Mike? What is your rank and how long have you been in? Um, are you active? Sorry for all the questions. I never get tired of questions. Like, ask me, ask away, guys. Um, so, rank up. Um, so, he means, like, is it easy to promote? How easy is it to promote as 88 Mike? So, it's actually pretty... 88 Mike get really good promotion points um, every year. Um, so, I actually... Um, it only took... So, you actually... It's not that hard to promote as 88 Mike. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, right place, right time, right uniform, you don't have any flags, you pass your PT test, and you go to school, and you can promote pretty quickly. Um, I, my rank, I just pr uh, promoted to E5, so I'm finally Sergeant Sneed. I can't believe it. Um, I haven't been pinned yet, but I made the um, promotion. I was selected up for promotion, so... I literally can't believe it like as a little ass private you guys remember me you remember me back in the day like being a private and now I'm a freaking sergeant like that's crazy like they call me sergeant Sneed which is so creepy like it's not creepy but it's like it's so weird like what the fuck <laughs> um I have to sit in on the meetings like they're like where were you this morning at the meeting I'm like what are you talking about <laughs> uh, but yeah it's crazy um are you active so I haven't really spoken about this a whole lot, but I'm actually about to start transitioning, possibly um, doing AGR, which is Active Guard Reserves, the most hidden secret in the Army. And so I would technically be active, um, but right now I'm still in the National National Guard component of the Army. Like, either way, I'd still be in the National Guard, but I'd just be active duty, if that makes sense. Um, but I, I think a lot of people are really confused because I'm on a um, active duty post, like, so... I am in the Army, but I'm in the National Guard component of the Army, but, like, my unit is on an active duty post. And then a lot of people are confused because when they see me, like, during the week, um, I'm working, like, I'm in uniform, I'm on duty. So my unit hands out a lot of orders, so I'm, like, on active, I'm, I'm always active, like, a lot, like, a lot. Like, um, yeah, it's very confusing, and I have insurance through military, like, it's, I don't know. I'm in the National Guard, if just to make it more simple, but I'm on active status, like, a lot. Um, I had back surgery very minor a few years ago, but I have a disc problem, but I, it doesn't bother me. And if I exercise, I have no problem whatsoever with that disqualify me. I also have a small scar. Um, I never encourage people to lie, but, um, I would, like, speak that over with your recruiter and just see, like, what your recruiter says and just, like, go with your recruiter. Like, do what, 
what they say you might have to get it cleared um if it doesn't bother you then you should be fine but i ain't no recruiter i'm not no doctor that it works at the MEPS, so i can't really tell you if you're gonna get disqualified or not i literally have no idea like people ask me that a lot and i'm just like <laughs> i don't know i'm not a doctor <laughs> so yeah it, you may you may not your recruiter might say don't even say anything if it doesn't bother you so yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this part one of two. I decided to break up this Q&A into two just separate videos so that the video wasn't super long. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, the next part of this video will be up on Thursday, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.